friends, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on the Budget and another palette of the month. And I think you like these um, videos and I'm really pleased about that because when I asked you, you, you said you like the palette of the month, so thank you for that and I'll continue with that for you. But anyway, today's palette, I'm trying to look for palettes that I find winners. Not necessarily brand new ones, although some of them will probably be brand new, but ones that I've tried and tested for so many reasons. And I'm talking about the quality of them. The drugstore high street are getting a lot better with their palettes now. Their eyeshadow and the pigmentation is getting a lot, lot better. And there's a lot of them that can equal high end, no doubt about that. And the palette that I'm showing you today, or the palettes that I'm showing you today, definitely come under that umbrella. There's some palettes that come out and you kind of, everybody knows about them. The, the name goes around and it's like, do you remember the original Wet n Wild palettes when they came out? Every, the pigmentation was fantastic, everybody loved them and it was, and they're still good, they're still good, no doubt about that. Um, and then this one came out and a lot of people have, have recognised how great it is. Um, Emily Noel loves them, and rightly so. So you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Revolution Reloaded Palettes. Guys, you cannot... I can't even explain how good these are. I've got it on today. These are fantastic palettes. So as I said, I'm looking for longevity. I'm looking for not so much fallout. I'm looking for creaminess and not pulley and chalky. Um, good pigmentation. And these tick every single box and all the palettes. I've got five of them. This is the Velvet Rose. Um, I've done a... Oh, my little light. I've done a... Um, video on this on a dupe day it's very similar to uh, the sulky palette so that's that one this is the iconic mattes so they are all mattes just plain mattes lovely lovely consistency let's open that up and i think really with with consistency for um Lasting power and pigmentation. I think Max sort of come come under the microscope more so, really, because I always find that you can. It's easier to get a pigmentation from a shimmer than it is a matte. But these are a winner. These are a winner. The next one I have is the. Uh, dive. Let me have. Should I put my glasses on? Deep dive, <laughs> and that's the blue one. You've seen me do a video with this as well. A blue look. Fantastic, fantastic pigmentation. I can't even tell you how wonderful the look of that. The pigmentation on these is out of this world. Okay, and this is the fifth one I have, and this is Iconic Division, and that's the one that I've got on today. And I'll show you some of the pigmentation in that one. I'll show you one of the mattes, actually. Look at that. Unbelievable. I just love these palettes so much. I tend to wear... I don't match my clothes exactly to, you know, like we did in the, the 70s and the 80s, if we had blue on or purple on, we had big purple eyes. <laughs> I don't mean like that, but I tend to um, wear my makeup to try and flatter whatever I'm wearing that day. So you can see this palette has got the sort of colours in it that would 
you know, flatter this kind of outfit. So I'll show you how I put this together. This I should have looked together and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so as I said, I chose the iconic division, which is this one. Um, and you could see why, because I'm wearing a mustard colour today. So first of all, I'm going to take this colour up here. And I'll come in and out as I do this. And this we're going to put all over the lid, up to the brow, on both eyes. Okay, next I'm going to take the next one along, which is coming across a little more peachy on camera. It's actually a little bit more... It's a little more um, camely. And I'm going to put that in the crease. And obviously work it well in. Okay. Next I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. Going to go into the one at the end, which is a, a really nice chocolate brown colour. I'm going to go into the crease, but lower. So, nearer my lid. Keep working that in the crease, but not so high. And we blend that one. Okay, so before I take... Um, my outer V colour, I did the dark colour in the crease and then I went over again with the first colour just on the edge there so it it fades out, so it blends out. Next I'm going to take this one here which is another lovely brown colour not on that brush there this one, this lovely brown colour and I'm going to work that into my outer V. Coming up, as I always do, slightly on the outside. Coming up, and then smudging some underneath. and blending that really okay and then being brave with a packing brush and this mustard color here i'm going to put that all over my lid packing it off blending it okay and then so that it's not too flat I'm going to take the gold color there on my finger that, and I'm just going to put that in the center just on the actual border of my eye you see just there just on that center bit And then, that's how I made the eyeshadow with this look. Okay, so that's my palette of the month, or palettes of the month this month. Um, they're winners, guys. I would endorse them 100%. Love them. I think you can tell that, can't you? <laughs> so thank you for watching and being here with me as always. Um, if you like my videos, guys, please give me a thumbs up and you know ring the bell and subscribe it helps me an awful awful lot um and you know like my videos i want you to to like my videos i don't just want you to push the bell or subscribe if if you know just because i'm asking you to i want you to like my videos and enjoy my company and if you do 
please subscribe because I'd love you to regularly on board with me and we can get to know each other better that way. So you take care of yourselves, have a lovely week and I love you all loads and loads and loads. Bye.